How's it going, Rad Viewers? Grim Caddy right back into another Legends of the West video online. And this time we attempted Red Harlow. I say attempted very, very strongly because sadly, this outfit was not quite as easy to pin down as uh, it was in single player. That said, we do have a myriad of options that I'm going to show you now. Now, something to remember when it comes to Red Harlow's outfit, like the entire top piece is actually just a jacket with a fur lining which sadly is a little hard to replicate. We do have jackets with fur linings that actually are in a kind of blue, dark navy blue. The Hagen coat definitely works. And I know I bought one. If you're willing to just go flat black, the sheep's wool jacket will as well. Now this isn't flat black, this is like a dark brown, but either will really work. Now, what kind of kills the look of this is that when I think of the Red Harlow outfits, I think of the ones I've seen from Red Dead Ridiculous and everyone else online that's done it, so we don't even have a coat for it. Instead, we have the vest, which oddly enough does come in a myriad of wonderful colors. Now, I tried to make this work with the blue, and it kind of does. I say kind of. Honestly, I think the flat black version would actually do a whole lot better. But of course I didn't get that one yet, I went with brown because I'm making this up as I go. So I would say dealer's choice. You can go with the jacket and try to make it work, or you could try to go with the single player variants where it's just the vest that has all the fur lining on it. And if you do go with the vest, of course, you are going to need everything else with it. But I'm skipping ahead of myself. We haven't even talked about the hat, which we have options for. When it comes to Red Harlow's hat, he's gone through a few iterations from the PlayStation 2 to Red Dead Redemption Online DLCs. And Red Dead Redemption 2 Online gives us a few options to work with. Like the warm flop hat, I feel like you could make work. The Kyuga hat is a great version of uh, the American Bolero. If you don't want to just go ahead and get the Bolero, I actually stopped myself from getting it because that sucker's expensive, even at my level. Or you could always just say screw it all together and go with the stalker hat. A good old fallback. Dealer's choice, honestly. Now let's go down to, I believe it's bandana, isn't it? Yep. Because he does wear a bandana or a tie or a scarf or a neckerchief or something that's yellow with purple polka dots. I've mentioned that before and I'm still thrown off by even saying it. And online actually does give us patterned bandanas. No, this is about as close to yellow as they have for this one. Makes me a little sad on that note. But if it works, it works. Coats, as I just went over, we have some options you can try. The sheep's wool coats, which is actually a future video I'm going to try. The Hagen coat, which could work. Again, all this is dealer's choice. Like, I would be more comfortable with all this if we could actually close up the coats. Let's add some cold wear if I ever want to go freaking hunting out in the wilderness of snowy, wonderful north. For vests, this is where I get picky. You can either go with a sheepskin vest or you can go with no vest and a coat. <clears throat> I say both work pretty dang well. Yeah. For shirts, the hell was that glitch? That was freaky. If you do go with the vest, you want a shirt that matches that vest. And when it comes to that sheepskin vest in blue like I did, the work shirt in this dark navy blue is about as close to what match as I get. Everything else is just a little too pale, and I want darker. Other than that, if you go with the flat black version, I'd say that'd be easier to go with, in all honesty. For gloves, online we do not have those fur line suckers. We do have these workman gloves, which kind of do it it does it does have that collar around it that looks like it can be part of the shirt but oh honestly i just went with the old favorite and red fingerless gloves buckles doesn't really matter it's dealer's choice on that weapon equipment i say the dead boot once again kind of takes the win on that personally yeah for pants this got a little fun i went with the banditos and the dish is kind of interesting because his are a dark brown there's not really a dark brown option with the bandito pants, despite selling the look so much. There's this off gray, and then there's this whatever the hell color that is. But of course, there are always other options. You can go with the studded pants, which actually do come in black and not quite as dark brown as I would like. Yeah. I'm really sad I wasn't able to get this look down quite as well. 
Our boots are classic worn Roper boots in a good dark brown color. Now again, I'm doing the exact same thing I did in single player. I'm going with a lot of worn out looking stuff because Red Harlow has gone through some crap in his life and my God, if his equipment and his gear and his clothes do not show it. And for spurs, as usual, good old gird on. Cannot go wrong with the gird on spurs. But that's essentially it. It's definitely not as good as the single player variant, but I think that's mostly just because I don't have the same options as I did there. And while I do have a myriad of new options I can play with, like, I, I don't know. It's like, Rockstar, if you're going to do online components and have customizable options from single player that are not in multiplayer and the multiplayer that are not in single player, please just release the DLC that combine it all because this is driving me up a wall. <laughs> Ah. Well said, as usual, I hope you all enjoy and I hope you all forgive me for this attempt. It's really not that bad of a look. I do dig it. It's definitely not my favorites, but I definitely dig it. And I do hope you enjoyed. And if you did enjoy, be sure to throw a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and by all means, check out the request down below in the description box and see if yours had already made the cut. And if it hadn't, throw your request in the comments and see it added in a future video. Ah. Oh wow, I'm hungry. I should probably go eat something. I'm dying. That's how I'm in Blackwater and there are people around me. I'm probably gonna get shot at. So I'm gonna go deal with that. Till next time, kids. Take care now. Bye bye then.